Hello, Moton Geography is back with another video. Today, we will be featuring Andorra, a tiny landlocked principality in Western Europe. But before we get into Andorra, let's review the answer to the trivia question in our last video, Albania Geography. The question was, which empire was Albania part of until Albania's independence in 1912? And the answer is... The Ottoman Empire. Yes, that's right. Albania was a territory of the Ottoman Empire for nearly four centuries until gaining independence. Let's jump back to Andorra. When people think of this country, they think of this little speck stuck somewhere in Europe. But this little speck, as we will soon come to know, does have a remarkably intriguing and unique geography. As always, let's start with the basics. Andorra is a small landlocked nation in Western Europe on the very top of the Iberian Peninsula. It is completely surrounded by the countries Spain and France, and makes no contact with the sea or the ocean. The land of Andorra is primarily mountainous. Much of the mountains in Andorra make up the large and well-known Pyrenees mountain range, a range that covers almost all of Andorra and much of northern Spain and southern France. Aside from the dominating mountains, small rivers snake their way between the steep valleys forming complex water systems. There are also many lush valleys that have conifer and mixed forests. Andorra is divided into seven regions known as parishes. Each parish has a small local government and its own elected mayor. The most populous parish is the capital of Andorra, Andorra La Vella, with an estimated population of 22,001 as of 2017. The rest of the parishes in population order are Escalades and Gordani, Encamp, St. Julia de Loria, La Masana, Canilo, and Ordino. In addition to basic physical geography, Andorra has a very unique political situation worth mentioning. The country has a co-principality, meaning the head of state is shared by two monarchs. In this case, the monarchs are the President of France and the Episcopal of Catalan. The government is also led by an elected head of government. With only 79,000 people, Andorra is one of the least populous countries in Europe. It is also extremely tiny at an area of only 181 square miles of land, or 468 square kilometers. And finally, the Andorran flag. The Andorran flag is a classic tricolor flag displaying red, yellow, and blue, with the Andorran coat of arms in the center. The motto on the coat of arms reads Virtus Unita Fortior, meaning Virtue United is Stronger. The national language of Andorra is Catalan. French, Castilian Spanish, and Portuguese are also commonly spoken in Andorra. Andorans are typically multilingual, with many people speaking up to four languages. The predominant religion in Andorra is Roman Catholic, which a total of 90% of the population affiliates with. As it is such a small and wealthy country, Andorra's literacy rate is virtually 100%. Surprisingly, only 33% of Andorran citizens actually identify as Andorran. 23% of citizens identify as Spanish, 21% identify as Portuguese, 17% identify as French, and 3% identify as Arab. As Andorra is sandwiched between Spain and France, it is greatly influenced by both cultures, specifically the Catalan culture of northeast Spain. Although Andorra is not part of the European Union, it has adopted the euro as a currency for convenience. The eastern parts of the Pyrenees mountain range dominates almost all of Andorra, especially northern Andorra. 
In total, there are 65 peaks in Andorra. The tallest point in Andorra is Coma Pedrosa, a mountain that sits in northwestern Andorra near the border with France and Spain. This mountain reaches a peak of 9,652 feet. Sitting on the intersection of France, Spain, and Andorra is the second tallest peak in Andorra, Peak de Medecorbe. This mountain overlooks the Atang de Solsum Lake in the Vic de Sos Valley. Another famous peak, Peak de Casamania, is a popular hiking destination for tourists. At an altitude of 9,029 feet, or 2,752 meters, Peak de Casamania offers a spectacular view of the mountainous country. As Andorra is very biodiverse and lush with vegetation, it is worth mentioning the major natural parks of Andorra. Andorra consists of three large national parks, Valle de Sortini, Madru Perafita Claror, and Valles del Campadrosa. Valle del Sortini, located in the Ordino Parish, is home to a vast array of wildlife, including the ibex, the Pyrenean brook salamander, and the common frog. With an area of about 2,500 acres, Valle del Sortini is the smallest of the three parks. The second natural park, Madru Perafita Claror, is a glacial valley located in southeast Andorra. The valley spans across three parishes to total to 10,494 acres. Madru Perafita Claror also includes many rare and endangered wildlife, such as the Eurasian woodcock and the wild cat. More common species include the golden eagle, the common wall lizard, the Iberian wall lizard, in the Pyrenean Chamoy. The third and final natural park, Valle del Coma Pedrosa, is located in the western parish of La Masana. In addition to many interesting forms of wildlife, this park contains the mountain Coma Pedrosa, the tallest mountain in Andorra. Okay. This will be a little confusing, so bear with me. Andorra has three main rivers. The Valera de Orient River is in the east, and the Valera del Nord River is in the north. These two rivers converge into a third river, Gran Valera at the capital, Andorra la Vella, forming a Y shape. The Gran Valera is a tributary to the Segre River which connects to the much larger Ebro River, which flows out into the western Mediterranean. Simply put, Andorra has two tributaries, which are tributaries to another tributary, which is a tributary to another tributary, which is a tributary to a big river, the Ebro River, that flows into the Mediterranean. In addition to rivers, Andorra has 172 lakes, the most notable being the large Estanis de Juclar. This lake sits in northeastern Andorra and has a total area of 0 0.23 square kilometers, or 0 0.14 square miles. There are also many small drainage basins along the border. Andorra has in total 118 kilometers, or 23 miles, of borders, which is shared with France and Spain. The Andorran border with France runs 57 kilometers in the north and the east. The border with Spain runs 64 kilometers in the south. Surprisingly, there are only six established routes to get into Andorra, two from France and four from Spain. Andorra's climate varies depending on elevation. In general, the climate is typical of a mountainous terrain, with frigid winters and mild summers. Autumn is the most rainy season, 
The average temperature is around 45 degrees Fahrenheit, or 7 degrees Celsius. It typically snows on the peaks of tall mountains and can be a lot colder. It's time to visit this video's trivia question. And the question is... How many countries, including Andorra, have Catalan as one of their official languages? Watch our next video for answers, and always remember to like and subscribe. If you want more geography, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Geography Moton or Moton Geography Center. See you next video!